Hey guys. This is my cinnamon stick. Okay. We're gonna do Aries. I am so sorry for the noise. They are fixing stairs. We got the Eight of Pentacles and the Star. Aries, you're on your shit. Like, you know how to make money even if you're home. It's like your diligence, your leadership. It's like a great time to, like, take on projects, do that thing that you say you always want to do. You can have your, your Uranus, which is, if you know, your natal chart. As an Aquarius, like you're very healing, very calm. You got a lot of good omen and good fortune coming your way with the star here. Yeah, new project, inspiration, new opportunities. Some of y'all been feeling restless though with the Three of Pentacles. Like you've been working, 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 collabing, learning, studying a book, you know, with the Hermit. You can have Virgo in your native chart or dealing with a Virgo. We got the Queen of Swords at the bottom. Even with the Page of Wands and like the Six, the Seven of Wands in reverse, it's like. You get very overwhelmed. So I feel like don't overstimulate yourself. Because you get overwhelmed. And you will get justice. You will see the rewards of your labor. It's just the self-doubt like and lack of confidence. Some of y'all need to meditate, whether you're a man or a woman. Work out. Because once you work out, you feel like, oh, I want to do that again. That was so, all that cortisol got out of you. And now you got all that good energy. Yeah. Because we got the justice card. And it's really like, like, it's going to bring balance. The, but I feel like you may be overspending. I'm scratching my left hand. And that means like somebody spend like let money leave in your hand. This is your receiving, you know, when it itch. Yeah, it's, it's itching again. Um, someone missed chance, bad investment, overspending. I feel like you're bringing some habits from last year in, but you started off very good. I feel like you just gotta go back and be disciplined when it comes to your finances. Because whatever project I'm hearing podcasts. You're going to have it. And you can't do no shortcuts or delay or think that, oh, I could just half-ass it. Like, I'm just not going to get the correct material. Get the little mic. Get the big podcast mic. If that was you, your goal, get the vlog camera. If you say you was going to do it at that location, do it at that location. Do it how you just said you want to do it. Some of y'all have to realize it's not about rushing. Because with this not a pentacles in reverse, it's like someone living beyond a mean. Obsessed with working, but they lack faith. And it's like, yes, you could be obsessed with working, but are you saving the money? Are you keeping 10% to yourself? Sometimes the seven of swords could be like deception, but I feel like somebody's lying to yourself. Aries, you could be lying to yourself. And getting away with dishonesty. And it really comes with the Six of Pentacles. Like, maybe you don't realize that you give too much to others. Like, you're very caring. I'm not talking to an Aries. Like, oh, child. Aries, there's a difference when, let's say for Dier. 
she is securely good securely good but she knows her limits too and even though she always got it doesn't mean she always got to do it so it's something about limitations on giving something about like your parents don't look out for your siblings so you want to be that parent to your siblings because you don't want them to experience what you experience i'm really sorry for the noise i'm really sorry okay yeah with the high priest you intuitively know that you are the one that's going to rescue you and you can't do it but it's this narrow mindset this like lack of self-confidence with the queen of wands It's like you feel stressed that you got to do it all by yourself. Just do it one by one. Because the Ten of Wands is in reverse. That's what I got for you, Aries. Oop, they trying to close the deck on me. Oop. Oh, my God. If you don't know how to save, you're going to get a tower moment. Oh, my God. Because we literally got the Nine of Pentacles and the Upright, the Strength, and the Imprints. So you can do this. But what the Six of Wands is your ego, your lack of confidence, your lack of recognition. You feel like nobody's noticing you. Like, it's almost like, oh my God. Oh my God. It's almost like what people were saying about Kourtney Kardashian. And I don't know what's going on, but they be always dragging her name in the, in the public eye. And I don't know if she really tried to do that to Travis Kids because... Uh, Travis is a great father. Okay, he's a great father. And, um, I don't know, like, you just feel very exhausted. Like, rest, heal, and just, like, get a calendar, get a planner, get a five-star journal, and write down what you want to do for the whole year, or, like, write down what you want to do three months. Okay, I said, I'm going to, this month of January, get my passport. Or it's like... February, because, you know, January is always almost over. I'm going to fix my credit. I'm going to figure out which constellation I could do where they could wipe this off. Um, I'm going to figure out where to get a car. And then, like, the last one, I'm going to really take the photo to get my passport renewed. I'm not saying get the pa Then, March, you get the passport renewed. You get the car registered. You, you know, break it down by threes. That's what I used to do. And also, when it came to saving, I used to start by putting 10, then 20. And every time you take money back out, it's a penalty. Like, say if you put 150, you owe that by two. Yeah. Yeah. So, it really make you not touch your money. Because most of the time, we spend our money on some Uber Eats. You're literally going to, like, even tax season's coming in. Something about tax season could be significant. You're going to be feeling like the empress and getting stuff done. But I feel like when it comes to your project, I feel like this year is about finishing what you can do. And what you said you was going to do. You can have some people that's, like, in competition and you don't even know that or realize that. You have so many opportunities. Your love life may not be the best at the moment. For some of y'all. Because somebody's dealing with a struggling relationship. Where they coming from a broken home. And you come from a shattered home. Where it's like lack of stability. And this person come from a broken home. Where they might see the parents fighting with each other. The mom hitting the dad. Or dad hurting her and mom. And I don't think you want to deal with this person. Because this person is a page. And they, they with the four ones in reverse. It's like somebody who you're in separated. You, they break down in communication. You shut down lack support like you don't you have to ask this person this person have the three of cups in reverse is dealing with a third party bro aries you deserve more than this and you know that because with the five of cups in reverse it's like regret disappointment you're gonna really feel and i feel like that's gonna put you in a like with the sun in reverse it's like it's gonna put you in a fake positive fake happy you're really sad because you really gave this person a chance you really got to stop falling for words, whether you're a man or a woman watching this. You really do. And with the Eight of Swords, you're going to overcome this because you're going to be like overcoming your negative thoughts, open to new perception, open to a new perception, self-accepting and freedom and facing your fears. Because every time I look at the Ace of Swords, it's like someone facing these fears. 
but i feel like your angels lord jesus christ whoever you believe in um warned you warned you about this person yeah because this relationship is over and right when that relationship over you're gonna get somebody who knows what they want I feel like some of y'all, I said some, some, because I see someone in the mall and like someone very attractive wants you and you're like, why? Something about why? I feel like someone, whether you're a woman or a man, but it's like a woman that's getting approached that you got, you think that you got to have something. And as a woman, you already have more than everything. Not only that we create life, but it's the fact that we are very nurturing and we can make a home a home. And I think somebody needs to realize what a divine feminine is and realize your value again as a woman. Because you was with men that probably that, oh, you need to baby them. You need to fix them up. Because you're going to come with somebody who's devoted to you. That they got their shit together. You don't have to tell them to fix their credit. You don't have to tell them, like, 11-11, like, you don't have to tell them, hey, like, your car is going flat or you you have you have a little low tire air they're gonna put it in like baby you need gas i got you you got cash app zell like you hungry i'm coming like this like you have a attentive man a attentive man and if you're a, a man watching this you have a woman that has good boundaries and she's grounded in stability so she need peace of mind and i feel like you're gonna add on to her Something about Aries, you need to, ha you're having a set of change. You need to set your boundaries. Boundaries. This is the clarity of truth. You have a shocking change with your hair and you have a new beginning. For some Aries, y'all need to, like I say, you need to know your worth. It's a process. It's not like, okay, it's like when you go to a mail post office, you think they just throw everything on there? You know how scatterbrained they will be? It's a process. Certain codes go to certain se se sections and they separate it so it could go to the right truck, so it could go to the right post office so people get their mail. Okay? Somebody needs to real read Why Men Love Bitches. It's time to heal, do some shadow work, and understand why you think you have to nurture a man or nurture a woman or do this and do that. Why can't you just be yourself, go on nice dates, and enjoy? Someone needs to learn to relax. Because I'm feeling tense here, but I'm I'm relaxing myself. Like, someone needs to learn the off of soft girl life. Especially even when, like, someone massaging you. Someone catering to you. You cater to everybody. Why can you get not catered? Because you're so abundant. You have a positive mindset. Everything you stress about, like, you could have been stressing about an apartment. Now you got it. That time that you were stressing about a car, you ain't had a car for two years. Now you got it. Something about relaxing. The universe don't want you to work hard. That quote. They want you to breed. Okay? Get back out there and date. And somebody that's toxic and separation is sad. They just put on a facade. They put on a fucking show. Okay? They deserve a clown. I wish I could put a clown face right here. Okay? Thinking about you uncertain. You raised it from the phoenix. You already know. <clears throat> tricks are for kids, I'm hearing. Like... And you ain't no fucking kid. Because right behind poker face, this person is, is string you along. You cutting off and you're moving tight. Because this person trying to make you feel like you're not enough. And Aries, y'all don't play that. Don't play with it. Don't play with it. Don't play with it. Don't play with it. That's what I got for you, Aries, for the 21st to the 27th. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Y'all. I love y'all. Y'all be safe, okay? Bye.